Hey guys, this is James from Isotropic, and this video I'm going to be talking about integrating intro.js to a website. This is a really cool library that gives a guided tour on your website. So if you have a product, if you have maybe like a checkout or something that isn't super easy for somebody to understand and you want to give them step-by-step -step instructions, that's what this tool does. Uh, super lightweight library. Um, it's installed in, in literal, literal seconds. You don't need to know JavaScript to use it on a website um, and it's free unless you're going the commercial route and if you're going commercial it's only ten dollars for the project so very cool uh, nice library that is easy to use and hopefully this video will show you um, how to use it so first here's a demo of what that effect looks like welcome to the intro.js live demo you click the next button it highlights a specific element uh, and it focuses on various aspects of a page that you set and gives you steps on how to use the page. Um, so it's pretty cool and it's very easy to add. Uh, let's add it right now. So uh, the first thing you need to do is include the JavaScript and CSS. I'm going to be using a WordPress and Oxygen Builder demo website, but the concepts outlined in this video can be used on anything using HTML5. So these are inserted into the website. This is using a link tag. This is using a JavaScript tag. For WordPress, I am using the Advanced Scripts plugin. Um, you can also use code snippets. You can also use the header footer um, insert plugin. There are a lot of ways to do this. We just need to get these code, these two CDN delivered assets, the JavaScript and the CSS in relation to intro.js um, added to our website. So I do that by uh, going and installing advanced scripts. I'll link that in the description below. Um, calling in the CSS, I'm loading it from a URL. I'm loading it from that URL copied directly from this page right here. Um, it's being inserted into the WP head uh, and that's really it. The same with our JavaScript, also inserted into the head uh, of the website and um, loaded from a URL and that's the same URL right there. These scripts are being loaded globally. Um, you can specify specific pages for them to load on if you want to. Um, once these two scripts are inserted into your website, you have two options when it comes to actually adding this guided tour to the site. Um, you can use a kind of backend JavaScript file or you can use HTML5 data attributes. Um, so there are two methods here and I'll show you both of the methods. The first method I'm going to show you um, is very easy to do with the Oxygen Builder and that is using the attributes to specify specific steps. Um, this method doesn't give you as much control as other methods, but it's really easy to do. So once you have these two added to your website, you simply go to the page uh, on Oxygen Builder uh, that you want your guided tour to be on. So this is just an example page uh, built with Oxygen. The first thing you do is paste in this little snippet intro.js or intro.js start, uh, and this initializes the library. And because we're using the data attribute method, what this is going to do is say, all right, look for every element that has these specific attributes applied to it, and then create a guided tour out of that. It's going to go from the first attribute it finds to the last attribute it finds in that order. And when I said you don't have as much control here, um, as other setups, you don't have as much control because it's automatically finding um, the specific uh, element that you've you've specified um, to to be uh, targeted by this tour. So let's say we want the first step of this tour to be um, this this the restaurant header here, and we want the first step of the tour to say this is our header on the website. So the way we would do that is we would go click on heading, go to advanced, go to attributes, and then just add a data intro attribute and say this is the first heading on our page. Um, and what this is going to do is say, all right, uh, library, find this specific element and then take all of this content in here and reflect it in our guided tour. Um, and I think there are a couple other elements that I did that for too. Um, so you'll see we can add a data title and a data intro. So data intro is essentially the content. Data title is the heading of the specific step on the tour. Um, and then the final step in this tour is specified here. When ready, click read more. Um, so what it looks like on the front end, first, let's look at the code. Um, 
we have a data attribute applied to the specific element. And if you're hard coding a website or using another method, you'll just see that within our actual HTML, we have our attribute specifying what is going to be set in this tour. And I closed the tour, but because we added that little JavaScript snippet in the beginning of this video, uh, or this step or section of this video, it's going to initialize as soon as the page loads and renders that section. Um, so what it looks like on the front end now is uh, a, a step-by-step -step process that immediately loads when the page loads. And something to note is that when you're using WordPress, this admin bar uh, messes up the alignment, but if you weren't logged into the site, it wouldn't be messed up. Um, so this is just what we specified in um, our data attributes. And that's the effect that you can get in literally um, probably a minute to two minutes. Uh, so to review very quickly, you insert the JavaScript and CSS into your website. Both of these are going in WP head. Um, then you go onto your specific page. You add this little snippet to the top of your page somewhere, initializing the library. And then you go to each individual element that you want the tour step to apply to um, and say, under attributes, data attribute or data intro. This is your body content. You can also do data title, and that would be the title content of the specific tour step, which for example would be this. This is your title, this is your intro content. And that's that. So that's the data attribute method of doing things. But what if you want a little more control over how the steps are sequenced and maybe just additional options that you find in the documentation? Um, to do that, the second method would be instead of using data attributes, so this is either or, um, we can set up this in the actual uh, back end of our site by just writing some JavaScript as a JSON file. So our options uh, can be set by using intro.js or intro.js.setOptions. And then within this, we can specify our specific steps in the order that we want the steps to apply uh, and selecting the specific queries um, in this case, we're using just the automatically generated IDs of each element on Oxygen Builder. And this is pretty simple and easy to understand. You just have a title. So in this situation, welcome to our website. This is not attached to any um, element, which means it's going to show up as a, as a modal on the website, kind of just in the center of the website, not attached anywhere. This is the content of that specific pop-up. Then we specify an element, so it's going to then, when you click next, go to this specific ID element and say this content, and then it's going to go to this element and say here's your title, here's your content, then the final step will be this, and you'll be good to go. Um, so if we look at this on the front end, uh, I just quickly want to show you uh, how we're getting these IDs. Uh, if I built this in Oxygen, I would be looking at this page on the front end and saying, uh, which section do I want to target? So in this situation, the ID here is div block 12-5. So I'm going to just paste that right in here. Um, notice that there's no data attributes here at all. Again, this is an either or method. Um, so you're either specifying it on the back end with JavaScript or you are calling it in on the front end with a data attribute. Um, once all this is set up and once you've targeted your elements and you've set all the content, you can just go to the front end of your site um, and load the page and on load, the tour will load and you'll be good to go. So you see uh, the, the modal kind of pops up and it's in the center of the page. Then it pulls you down to uh, the specific element that you've targeted and then it pulls you down again. Uh, and then this is your final step and you're good to go. Um, click done and you, you're done with the tour. So hopefully this was a very quick and, and efficient video in introducing you to intro.js. This is a really cool library that's completely free for personal use, um, very cheap for commercial use, and it gives you a great guided tour of a specific part of a website. Um, I think this could be very helpful if you're building backends on WordPress um, on the front end for clients, uh, if you have, say, like a dashboard where you need to show somebody here are the steps that you're going to take to maybe submit a post on the front end to this website, um, or if you're running an e-commerce shop and you have a more complex checkout than normal, here are the steps that you're going to take to check out, say, um, this wholesale order or something like that. 
Uh, very simple library. Hopefully you were able to see that. If you're using Oxygen Builder, using data attributes is super easy. Um, probably the quickest way you can integrate a guided tour into any website. Um, if you aren't using Oxygen or if you want more control, going the JavaScript method is also very easy. Um, so that's that's really an introduction to intro.js. Uh, we use this in a, in a few projects where clients need to submit information and it's not 100% clear as to all the features that they have access to when submitting information. Um, so it's just a helpful little library. Uh, hopefully this video was helpful. If it was, give it a like, thumbs up, subscribe to the channel. We do a ton of content like this. And until the next video, I won't see you in the next video. I will.